Good morning, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and show my Amazon returns bin store haul for the last two weeks. <clears throat> now, I wasn't able to film it last weekend because I had cousins that came from um, on my mom's side, first cousins that came from Houston, San Antonio, and from the Philippines. Um, they came over to visit. So, um, yeah, I just didn't have the time. So, like I said, this is going to be two weeks worth of hauls. So um, let me get started. I'm going to put these down because I don't have the room right now. The floor is like completely um, covered and stuff that I need to show. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is um, this. I got this on dollar day and it is a micro SD card. Um, this one is actually one gig, I believe. So I haven't even looked to see if there's anything on it, but it's always good to have these. Um, I will probably, I, I don't think I'm going to use this for photography because um, it's a, sometimes the images get corrupted on these cheapy cards and I always stick to SanDisk uh, memory cards for my cameras. So I might just put this in like my tablet or, um, you know, I don't know, maybe store stuff in or give it over to... Um, my nephew to use for his switch. I don't know. We'll see, but, um, yeah, it was just $1. So, okay. Oh, I have it backwards. Let me stick that in there. And then I picked this up. I was surprised that it was still there on dollar day. Um, but these, like I said, always need these because my parents need one, you know, my siblings might need one. Um, these are, chargers and I don't really care too much for this. These look surprisingly familiar. They look like the USB-C cables that come with like the key, uh, the keyboards, mechanical keyboards. Um, I don't really trust so much the quality of these, uh, but I was more after these. I've shown these in the past before um, and these are 20 watt. So these are really what I'm after for a dollar. Not bad. I mean, um, I'll probably give these to my niece and nephews, <laughs> niece and nephews, nephews, nephew and nieces, because they're going to be going on a trip in June. They're going to go to the Grand Canyon in Vegas for the first time. So I am pretty sure they're going to need chargers. So that way they're not fighting over the one charger that they probably will have between them. And everybody will be happy, including my sister. Um, oh, I don't have a bag here for trash. Wait, no, I do. Let's put all that trash there. This was also on dollar day. These are poly folders. Um, I believe there are 10, which is great. 10 cents each basically. And I needed these because it, my, uh, junk journal, like ephemera stuff is getting out of hand in terms of like when I'm using like big sheets and I'm tearing them in pieces and I need to place them somewhere and better yet, I need to sort them. So it's easier for me to find them instead of having to go and find a book, tear out a sheet, you know, and then it just accumulates. So the interesting thing is that these have these little pockets here with the label. So yeah, it's not bad for $1. And now I don't have to go to Dollar Tree and buy stuff like this for a dollar fifty for one, you know. Um, sometimes, um, well, it's always best to get over to the bin store when they first open, especially like on dollar day or fifty cent day, because yeah, stuff goes really fast. And if you wait even an hour, by the time you get there, stuff's already gone. Um, they don't have much left. I'm trying to like find places to put this stuff. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah, that's going to fall. All right. So as you can see, this is a comic book. And this originally was at um, Target. This particular bin store is still getting stuff from Target. It's kind of annoying, but that's okay. Um, I got this for a dollar. Uh, I do read comicses. My brother reads comicses. And I thought, well, I don't think we've read any of the Rebirth stuff. So, um, you know, I'm okay with with getting this and I'll let him read it. I was going to give it to him. His birthday was actually yesterday, but I'll give him something else. 
maybe some Superman socks. Because <laughs> he is a big Superman fan. So we've got the actual comic. And then there was a little figure, which I thought was kind of funny, that it came with it. Maybe I'll give that to my nephew, um, his son, because we are encouraging him to read comics. Is encouraging because read comics is read books. So yeah, that's actually not a bad figure. Will it stand? No. Well, yeah, he will. Okay. So we've got that. I will actually leave him here. All right. So let me get this other stuff out of the way because it does take up a lot of space. Um, so I see these from time to time and, um, just ignore the stuff inside. I will show that. These are those bag organizers that are made out of felt, you know, like you have like a big tote bag or a purse. Um, and they go for quite, I don't know, maybe like $20 or something like that on Amazon. But, um, I already have one like this, I think either in Brown or red, but I wanted a black one because I can use this in, um, what do you call this? In like, you know, like a tote. Um, I have a really, really big tote. And sometimes, you know, when you when you don't have these, the tote is kind of like formless and stuff is just jumbled up. But this gives it a form and it will actually keep it upright when you put it down. So I was kind of happy to see this. And the zipper is still functional and it's made out of metal, not plastic. Um, it still has the original tag. That's the, that's the name, if you can see it. And, um, that was it as far as like just this black, um, organizer. So let me show you the stuff that's inside. I also found this on dollar day. This is always good to use. Sorry for the glare. This is some Christmas, um, you know, like scrapbook paper, 12 sheets. This will be really good, especially for ATC cards because the print is small, you know? So that's the reason why I picked that up. <clears throat> Um, I also found this. These are um, Taylor Swift stickers and they're purple, lavender. Um, sorry, my sinuses are acting up here. Okay, let's take it out. Okay, I'm just going to take out this one right here. So I'm, like I said it before, I'm not a Swifty, so I don't know what some of these references are, but I do know that these were Taylor Swift because there were some pictures of her, you know, it says argumentative, anti-ethical dream girl. Um, this one, what was this? There's a letter left on your doorstep. <laughs> um, I'm not even going to bother to read that. Yeah. So there she is in purple. I'll give some to my nieces because they are Swifties and they will enjoy this. It's just too bad that they can't. Well, they could. They could put it on their, the covers of their school laptops because they own this, the, the cover. They just don't own the laptops. Okay. So we got that. I don't need this thing. Okay, um, I did find another uh, set of <laughs> stickers, which is kind of hilarious, given that, um, uh, when was this, two weeks ago, was it two weeks ago? Yeah, it had to be two weeks ago. Uh, one of my nieces was in her school production of Mean Girls. <laughs> she was not, she didn't get a lead, which she should have, because she would have been the perfect, um, oh God, which character? It would have been, oh God, not, um, not, uh, Gretchen, is it Gretchen? I think she would have played, she would have been really good as Gretchen, but yeah, I saw, I just thought this was hilarious. So I haven't even told them that I have these yet. So they're going to get really excited when they see these stickers. Um, <laughs> girls, see, yeah, I, I didn't even know I, as soon as it, this was actually on the front. So I knew exactly what this was when I saw the packet and I had to like text a picture to my sister and she, she thought it was hilarious too. She's like, that's perfect. Loie will love it. I'm like, yes, she will. All right. 
and put that back in there. So we have that. Let me put that in there. Okay, so I did find another organizer. This one now is in tan. And the great thing with this is that it actually had, this was actually loose, but I knew it'd go, it went with it. Um, it has the um, optional, I guess you could say, pocket one. And it has a lot of slots in there, just like this. And this is pretty wide, you know? See? Look at how wide that is. So it came with this. You know, you have all the slots here on the side. You have it here, these two big ones. You have this one here, that one there. Oh, and it also came with the tag. That is the name. Um, it doesn't have the ones on the sides, which is interesting, but, um, yeah, I always like to use these for travel because it keeps all your, you know, your stuff together, especially with your carry on. Okay. Now these next items, oh, actually, let me get this out of the way. This right here, I got this one for a dollar. Um, it's a wrist rest for, you know, when you're on the mouse, this one's going to go in my travel bag. Um. My laptop bag because I do need this, um, especially when I'm editing pictures. Uh, did I bring it the last time? No, I did not bring it when I was in San Francisco. But anyways, um, I was glad to see this because I didn't want to have to pay full price for one. All right. So these next items are all the same, just in different colors. Um, I had picked one of these up in the past before. I don't remember, sh I don't know, I might have shown it in a previous video. This would have had been um, probably two years ago. Uh, but I did not really know what they were intended for. I just used it for um, storing my stationery and junk journal supplies. Because that's, you know, it looked like it was like supposed to be sitting on your desk, kind of like open like that right? And um, it's worked out great because if I want to go downstairs and do some stuff in the living room while I'm watching YouTube or a movie, you know, I have all of my supplies in there. I would like put, you know, the washi tape, the glue sticks, you know, everything in here in these little pockets and all that. And I always wondered um, why it had like a key ring, you know, and all that. And so turns out that these are actually for mini backpacks. Um, it's a backpack organizer, but you know, I could actually use this in like my RASCOG so that it, you know, everything is organized. And, um, I got all of these for a dollar. So I have the one that I have is the same color like this one. So I have two of those. And then I did find, um, the striped one and then two of the dark blue ones. So, um, I'm probably going to give a couple of them to my friends, maybe to my nieces, because I don't really need, um, no, I mean, actually I could use all of them because it would fit probably about four or five of them on a RASCOG tray, like the top tray. So, and I did see another four of these, um, just this past week on dollar day at the bin store, but I ended up putting them back. And as soon as I put them back, this woman came up and she was like, picking them up and she asked me what they were for. And I told her, and she was so excited because she was like, oh, I can give this to my daughter who has a backpack purse and this would be perfect. So she ended up getting one. So um, yeah, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty durable and um, they're waterproof as well. So yeah, I'm going to, I have another RASCOG cart that I have not taken out of the box and put together. So I might do that during the week and then, um, maybe put some of these to use. So we have those. Let me put them back in the organizer because it was the only way that I could store all of them. That's the problem when you shop at these stores, you end up accumulating a lot of stuff and then it's kind of like, where do you put it all? So I try to stick to small stuff, you know? Now I don't have it um, on hand to show, but I did when I took my cousins. Okay. So my mom was telling my cousins about the stores and they kind of got excited about it because especially the ones from the Philippines, because they wanted to buy gifts to give, um, you know, to their kids back home. And so they asked me to take them there on um, last Saturday, instead of taking them to Graceland, believe it or not. So I took them to the first store and they just 
they their minds were blown. They got really, really excited. They bought a bunch of stuff. And so I took them, they wanted to go to another store. So I took them to the other store and they bought even more stuff, which was hilarious. I don't even know how they're going to bring all of that stuff back to the Philippines. I told them to get out of the boxes. So um, I did pick up one thing that was on $8 day and it was a hand, um, a handheld vacuum, which is good for like your car. Um, it's actually downstairs charging, but um, it's pretty good quality. It was brand new. And it was purple. So it's like I said, it's kind of rare nowadays that I actually go on $8 a day, but that was the, you know, that was the uh, only time that I ever did. I ever do is when like family like that comes in and they want to go. All right. So this one I found also on dollar day at a, at a different store and it's Tim Holtz, the collage brush brush set. So, um, this will definitely come in handy because, uh, especially if I, if I use some of the napkins that I have for, um, you know, to collage, um, you always want to use like a flat brush like this so it doesn't tear the uh, tissue paper. And I do have one that's from Mod, Mod Podge, but, oh God, I can't get this, this off. Um, it's a little bit thicker. What in the world? They must have taped this. Why the hell? This has never been opened, but they put additional tape. Oh my God. It's going all the way up. Look at this. Yeah. That is crazy. Holy crap. Seriously, who the hell packaged this? Ugh. I'm trying not to tear anything here. And now I'm going to have to cut it. I feel like I can't figure out. Ugh. There we go. Oh my god. That is so stupid what they did. Okay. So it's getting harder to find Tim Holtz um, in stores. Like you have to order it online nowadays. Um, cause like, for instance, um, Michael's barely even keeps any Tim Holtz old rums, you know, like keeps it in stock. Uh, Hobby Lobby does, but it never goes on sale. And then the Joann's is way too far. And uh, the last time I went, they hardly had any, they were just out of stock. So I was kind of happy to see this. And I do like the, I, I like the fact that it's a smaller handle, you know? So when you're applying like the Mod Podge over. That's really good. So yeah, I was really excited to see this. I tried to look and see if they had more, um, but no, it was the only one there. It's so strange how they'll have only just one of like this, something like this, but then they'll have like tons and tons of like something else that's just I'm like, why? Okay, so we've got that. All right. So let's get to the other stuff, which there is quite a, a lot of it. Okay. So I started selling stuff on Macari and, um, I needed to have small bubble envelopes and I held back on buying any, um, on, uh, Amazon because I knew that I would find some at the bin store and I did. And it, I found exactly what I wanted and actually in the color that I wanted. And as you can see, I've already used this pack. And this is a pack of 50 um, that I got. When did I go? I went on a Friday. So it was on an $8 day. Now, I was willing to pay $8 because these go for way more on Amazon. And um, yeah, so this was actually perfect. I just had to wait until they I could find it. And of course, I went through almost three-fourths of the store until I came across a table or a bin that had it. So I did pick that up. Now, this one... I went back to the same store, which was um, like four days later for dollar day. And then I came across this one <laughs> and it's a little bit bigger, but there's still bubble um, envelopes. So I have a backup and just in case, I mean, I don't expect that I'm going to sell 50, but um, you know, if somebody buys two of the items, uh, two of the same items, then I, I can put them both in one packet. So that definitely comes in handy. And it was great that it was only a dollar, you know? All right. Hold on. 
Okay, so moving on. This I found actually on, oh, when did I find this? $2 day. Um, sometimes I do go on $2 day because I may find some stuff. And I could have probably just waited for dollar day, but I thought, eh, it's okay. Found a mechanical keyboard. Now I've said in the past that I love mechanical keyboards. And so let's see, this was intact. The only thing missing was the USB-C cord, which I don't care because I have plenty as I do with those um, chargers. So um, I can use that, but I'm probably gonna give this away. This was actually, um, not an RGB, but it was all just blue lights. It's brown switches, which I do like, and it's um, Bluetooth, USB, and corded, wired, and it works because I've already tested it out, you know? So I can just give it away with the keycaps on there, the original keycaps, or, and I said, I also found this, now I had to cover this because the plastic had already come off and the pieces will be falling out. Um, I found this in another bin, same store, but I found a keycap um, set for $2. So, um, and I like the way that they feel. So I might swap them out and then um, give it away. I was thinking of possibly giving it to one of my um, coworkers, former coworkers, because she had said that she liked the fact that my keyboard was lit. <laughs> Uh, you know, it was lit up. So um, I might give it to her, although she may need, um, she may need like a, gosh, a 96 key keyboard because she does billing and she'll need the, the numbers, the number pad. Um, but I do have one. I don't know. We'll see. I'll ask her if she wants this. So we got those two. There's the manual. Let me put this back. Um, I've been ignoring a lot of the keyboards that they get, but I do like this brand, this, um, or Royal Kludge. I've had no problems with it. The only thing is that I prefer a knob <laughs> to control the volume nowadays. This is just great for compact and you can use it on a tablet. I've, I've connected it to my tablet with no problem. So... Um, it may seem a little excessive, but hey, the typing experience is uh, great, and that's what's important. All right, let's put this. Uh, okay, let's get this bag over here. I'm just looking around to make sure that I've not left anything else out. <laughs> okay, so I found this on Dollar Day. You're probably wondering, okay, album. It is, it's funny because on the album, it says theater. So it's intended for playbooks or playbills. I'm sorry, playbills. And the funny thing is, is that today I'm actually going to a musical um, downtown at the Orpheum to watch Wicked. I've never seen Wicked. I don't really know much about it other than that it's related to the Wizard of Oz. Um, I'm going because my sister-in-law is not able to go and she had already paid for a ticket. Um, and my sister had asked me if I wanted to go and, you know, so that the ticket wouldn't go to waste, but I didn't buy this for that. This will be, um, now I'd use albums like this before for my dyes. And that's how I would store them was in, um, sleeves like this. And I would use like a magnetic sheet so that they would stay in place. But I was thinking I could do this also with the sticker sheets or ephemera. Um, this might be a good option because then I can just kind of store it on, you know, my desk and then just go through it when I'm looking for something. Uh, this was on 50 Cent Day. I had seen it before and then ignored it. So this is a print that I love. It's the Great Wave. Um, you probably have seen this type of print before. It's by a Japanese artist. Um, there are two posters. This was a little bent, but that's okay. There's another one that he did right there. So um, yeah, I saw this actually on $2 day, put it back, saw it on $1 day, didn't touch it, went on 50 cent day, still there. So 
went ahead and got it. Let me put that over here. Um, I was excited to find another one of these again. I've shown in a previous haul. It's those window um, frames with the circles. So always glad to see something like that, which is useful for crafting. Uh, I found another figure. This is Casper. I do like Casper. It's unopened, so I didn't open it prior to filming because I wanted to go ahead and open it on camera. Okay. So let's see what we got. Oh, by the way, here are the various figures that you can get. Okay. Take that out. Here is the card. Oh, I think I got Shopping Casper. Let's see. Oh, there's two. How many pieces are there? Okay. Yeah, I did. I got Shopping Casper. Oh, he's adorable. And I think that is the shopping bag. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like that the bag is not like cardboard. Oh, come on. And what is in the bag? Oh, look at that. It's his ghost. And here's the little ghost. And he's cute. <laughs> so I guess he goes inside. And then, or rather, no, 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 no. Well, it looks like Casper's like holding the bag here. You know, it's like in front of him, right? Just like in the picture. That's cute. I can display this on my desk come Halloween. Aw, I like it. All right, let's put them back. And it's like a, this is different from the other one, the duck. It's like a very, very hard molded plastic. So that was nice. And I got that for $1. I try to keep my eye out now for these Pop Mart, um, Pop, yeah, Pop Mart figures because they seem to be getting them. I mean, that's like two weeks in a row. Okay. Um, I found this on $1 day or no 50 cent day. And it's great because ain't nobody there that knows anything about K-pop. I don't really know much about K-pop, but I know it when I see it. So I'm going to give this today to my niece, Loey, because she loves stray cats. I had to look this up because I had no idea who this group was. And I, I do remember Stray Cats as being one of them that she liked because uh, when I was in San Francisco, she told me to look for stuff like that. And I was able to find her those idol cards. So this right here, um, I got this on Dollar Day. So you're probably wondering, okay, that's kind of weird. What is it? And a lot of people, I think, just didn't know what it was. But I had, oh my God, I can't get it out of the packaging. Um, I had seen these before. I actually have one, but I don't have no idea where it is. So these are um, camera stands. So like if you're wanting to view, you just stick your phone in like this, okay? Or you can do it like that. And it's great to keep in your purse. So I'm gonna give, actually I'm gonna give all three to my nieces today. When we go, um, when I see them, for the musical because they're also going to so i need to leave this out um okay so this is a korean beauty skincare product it is um sunscreen and i got this for a dollar um this is um is free i think that's the name it's not in is free is free okay and it's, I always try to go for the SPF 50 PA plus, 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 because that's really good um, in terms of blocking out the sun. And um, I actually have been wearing this most of the week. And it's a very, very, very light um, type of gel consistency. Um, I don't know if it would be, well, I find that I am getting a little oily, um, maybe after two two hours after wearing it, but that's okay. Um, I think it's probably best if I apply this over something else. Um, 
but yeah, we'll see. But uh, okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. Not sure what happened there, but it was saying something about <laughs> maybe I've already extended. I don't know. Anyways, let me get back to this. So these I thought were um, adhesive dots, but no, they're actually Velcro dots. Um, and there's like a thousand. 1600. I could never use these all up. Clarissa, if you're watching this, you're going to get one of these rolls because I know that you do use these for um, your junk journals. Actually, let me make sure. Oh, okay. Is it the same? Okay, that's the left part. Oh, you know what, Clarissa? Uh, I'm probably going to give you half of each because one is the um, fastener and the other one is, I don't even know what to call it. Oh, crap. Um, what time is it right now? That better not be the mailman because I have to put something in the mailbox. Okay. I got to get through this. This right here I got on a, for a dollar. These are, it's a contact lens cleaning kit, but it's a, like, it vibrates. So it's supposed to remove the proteins from um, the contacts that build up. I saw this on $8 day. Of course, I wasn't going to buy it for $8, but I was surprised to still see it on dollar day. So I thought, well, why not? It's only a dollar. It has a mirror. And um, so it's charged. So let's see, it's vibrating. So it cleans it for like three minutes. I'll try it. I do wear contacts. And um, it's not bad for just a dollar, just to try, right? This right here, uh, called Tap Style and Go, dry shampoo boosting powder. Got it for a dollar. It's um, supposed to give you volume and remove excess oil. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try it. It's just like that much. They had several of these, but I didn't want to buy more without trying it. So just got one. I was excited to see this because I do have some platinum um, uh, fountain pens and I found a converter for $1. I tried to find um, more of them, but they didn't have it. Oh, this is hilarious. Um, <laughs> look at this. It's just like Elf in the Shelf. But I believe this is Snoop Dogg. It's so funny. And he's got a blunt. <laughs> I just thought it was hilarious. This will be funny to put out on um, Christmas. Not here at my house, but um, I may give this to somebody. So, oh, that's right. I got to leave these out. I got to give these to my sister. These are rice and, you know, uh, the handles <laughs> for cooked rice. So there's two in each set. There's only two sets here. So I need to give her that. I found two of them. So I put one in our kitchen and I'm going to give her the other. I don't know if I showed this. This was on 50 cent day. These are deli paper. There's 50 sheets, but I thought this would look really good um, for like my collage and junk journal type stuff. So yeah, so I got that. I mean, this back in the bag to make more room. Found another sunscreen. This one, I haven't looked it up on um, Amazon yet. Elta MD Skincare UV Clear. It's SPF 46. This one is not um, Korean, um, but I did see that it has um, neocyanamide, <laughs> um, which I know is really good for oily skin. It says that it's a translucent zinc oxide, so there shouldn't be a white cast. Um, but yeah, it's still in there. I have not tried it out. Maybe I'll try it out today. It's sunny right now, but it says it's supposed to rain. So I found that also for a dollar, same day that I found this one. Okay, let's stick that there. Um, oh. I was excited to find this on 50 cent day. In fact, I saw this on $2 day and I knew what it was because of the packaging, but I put it back. I had to like open it to be sure of what was in there. Okay. And yeah, sure enough, these are labels for the Famomo printers. Um, 
and I'm not going to open it, but there's three of these right here. And then this is a big one. The only thing is that they're not the continuous sticker paper. It's the actual labels. They're probably like about yay big, um, but they still come in handy because then I don't have, um, I can still print images and stuff on it. So yeah, I was excited to see that and get it for 50 cents. Okay. What else we got? I did show that already. It's just in there. Um, I don't know if I showed this. Wait, I'm using the same bag that I had the other stuff in from the previous week. Oh, I don't think that this one I've shown. These are also labels. Um, these are circular labels, which I plan on using Distress Ink on it because these will be good also for the collage work. You know, if I need like a, just something in the background for layering and stuff. So I thought, well, why not? It's only 50 cents. Uh, let's see. Just watch. I'm going to be done with this video and then find a ton of stuff that I didn't film. I found some more Taylor Swift stickers. Found out that um, one of the relatives from the Philippines, uh, my niece, she is a big Swifty fan. And I found, when I found out, um, we happened to be at the bin store. And when she told me, I was like, oh my God, I've seen so much Taylor Swift stuff here. And I was able to find like a blanket, right? A, a Swifty blanket. She got excited, but then I found a different one, which she was even more excited about. So she ended up getting her dad to buy that one. And my cousin was like, don't encourage her. I'm like, dude, she's 23. She's got her own money, but she just didn't have any, um, converted money dollars. In other words, on her. So he ended up buying it for her. We were just laughing about that. And then I told her I had a bunch of these stickers. So I went ahead and gave her a pack of these. Um, and yeah, yesterday Taylor's, um, album dropped. And of course she's in New York of all places and was so excited. And I told her you have to go to target because they always put out the limited edition um, CDs and albums. And so she sent me a picture of her holding two of the uh, CDs, which she got because she wanted um, the two posters. And I was like, why didn't you get the third one? And she's like, well, she didn't want to ask her dad to buy three. <laughs> I told her that's what he's there for, but she was fine with getting the two. She didn't get the album because she doesn't have a record player. So yeah. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in here that I have not shown. Mm, I think that's it. I want to say that is all. Yeah, it's not a super massive haul, but, you know, I'm trying to not get too much stuff because, like I've said before, you know, you start running out of room to store all this stuff. And if I'm going to buy, I need to buy stuff that's flat like this, small stuff. So, um, yeah, that is my haul um, from the bin stores. So I hope everybody has a good week, a good weekend, and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye. Ha! I knew it. I knew I forgot something, and that's why I was looking around. So here's the last item. And I was so happy to find this. I was willing to pay the $6 for it because I went on $6 a day. This was actually two weeks ago. So this is a, a um, it's a, you know, junk journal kit. Okay. Um, the, I've received something like this before um, from my good friend, Clarissa. And it was a, a green, uh, like botanical theme. This one looks like it's more about food. It doesn't have the little thingy here that the other one has but everything else is still intact. So it came with um, the notebook, which is always great because it's grid, okay? Ephemera stickers and stuff, even more stickers, little tiny stickers. Came with two washies, okay? And then you get this pack right here, which are um, little memo sheets, like little tickets, and then more memo sheets in the back. Okay. And then you've got these right here, loose one, um, the loose ones like tickets and stuff. Okay. And then you've got envelopes, just two. 
and then we've got here we've got more ephemera um, sheets you've got some vellum here i thought these were stickers but they're not it's just vellum sheets um same thing with actually this is all no 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 they are sticker sheets but it's a whole sheet they're not individual like that Let's see they're not um same thing with these and then you have like these clear overlays okay so you have that and then you've got the sheets the bigger sheets in the back so it's like it's at first i thought it was food theme but it's not it's actually kind of like all over the place so it's like nature then there's food and then you've got nature again you know and then you've got the thicker cardstock ones here so yeah these are great little kits um i think they go for like 12 dollars on amazon but i got mine for six it's getting rare now that i come across stuff like this i used to come across stuff like this all the time um but lately they haven't been getting much which it's kind of sad because that's the kind of stuff that I'm really looking for when I go to these stores. So um, hopefully, you know, they'll start getting more again. I haven't, my intuition has not been like ringing off the hook like it was that week when I got the Hobonichi cover. But um, who knows, maybe this coming week they'll have more stuff like this. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.